Hey folks, this is Nate Levan, Pioneer Field Agronomist up here in North Central Iowa. As you can see, I'm standing in a long-term corn-on-corn field surrounded by Pioneer branded Chrome products. And I want to talk to a little bit today about that billion-dollar pest, the corn rootworm. More specifically about population dynamics. And in 2021, why are we seeing the populations that we've seen just explode across the corn belt? Well, first of all, I like to think of corn rootworm populations as being not just a one-year wonder. They tend to happen or grow over time. And for us here in North Central Iowa, those years that they tend to survive or tend to increase in small pockets tended to be years like 2018 and 2019 when you had large areas of nitrogen deficient, stunted plants, you know, late silks that were really good food for these, these, lar or these adult beetles. Um, to feed on and then guess what that's where the party stops all those beetles will hang out there They lay a, a population of eggs that tended to increase the next year because it's so high um, And those those populations tend to increase over time in terms of extended diapause Milder winters recently as well as some of those conditions like 2019 on those rotated fields with the northern corn rootworm the, the green all green variant um, tend to, tended to also increase on, on diapausing populations. So whether they're westerns, the black and yellow one that you see in your corn on corn fields predominantly, or the green ones, these populations tended to have grown over time. Now, things can be done, traits, soil applied insecticides, and really a good job of, of doing some scouting with some sticky traps and controlling them with an adult control can bring some of those populations down, but those things have to be part of your repertoire. You can't just do a single thing and expect success. Corn on corn is complex, corn on corn is challenging, and it takes more than just a trait or just an insecticide in order to make sure that population stays low and manageable. If you have any more questions about population dynamics on corn rootworm or any other questions, contact your local Pioneer sales representative, territory manager, or field agronomist.